everyone, today I'm going to be doing a favorites video, but as you can see, my setup has completely changed. I have some lights going on now, like studio lights and a nice background, and I want to see how this all turns out. So this is like my very first test run with this video, because I want to see how the lighting is going to transfer on from my camera, because I only see it from my viewfinder. And once I have it here, I'm going to upload it to my computer, and then we'll see how it transfers over, and if the quality is any good. And then we'll play around with it. I do have like some studio lights set up right here on the sides, but I do need like one that gives a little bit more light here in the front. And I feel like that'll probably give more light centered this way, which it seems like it's not really giving out as much. But I am looking to probably gain a circle light. I think that would make this whole video or like make the makeup tutorial videos a lot better, give better quality and stuff. So this is pretty much a test run we're going to see how this works and if it doesn't work like I want it to, well, you know, I'll start test running it on other videos and we'll see how that goes. But hopefully, you know, this pretty much opens the door to me doing more sit down videos, talk videos, um, just challenge videos, makeup tutorials and whatnot. And it's just going to be a little bit more time consuming on my part to actually do a video like this because I have to do a uh, whole setup and stuff because this will come down at the end of me filming a video and then I'm going to be putting it away because I need the room since I'm no longer in my room I have to use up the living room area so but still I'm very excited to actually do these kinds of videos and Hope you guys are looking forward to that as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started with my very first items for my favorites of the month of June. In June, actually, I have done quite a bit of activity, quite a lot of things for June, and I got kind of a lot more darker than I usually am. So my makeup had to get darkened up a little bit more in my face area because I have been protecting my face quite a lot from the sun. I have been suffering from like sun damage and I'm trying to reverse that or at least try to improve it. And I got like molas I think it's called melasma. Melasma. It's like hyperpigmentation on the face from I have no idea from what. I don't know if it had to do from me using the retina because it did happen within the last previous months and I don't know if that kind of triggered it or if it was something else. I mean retin-a cream has helped me a lot with controlling my acne and I feel like you know I can't stop it because it has been controlling my acne so much and now that I kind of minimize the use of it and now I feel like they're starting to come back up I have like a couple like here and there and like something that wouldn't happen unless I'm on my monthly then it would it's expected for me to get some but I'm not on it so it's like what the hell what's going on so I have been using still the right night but I don't use it at night as much anymore I use it during the day I'm a little concerned that you know my skin will get very sensitive um, with me using it during the day causing more hyperpigmentation or like causing more sun damage so uh, but I've heard from a friend that their dermatologist told her that it was okay to wear during the day just you know wear sun sunscreen and it should be good but I'm gonna have to do a little bit of research on that because I can't just you know go by that and another thing that I have been using just because, like I said, I have been trying to reduce the hyperpigmentation on my face. I used to have just like right here in this area. Now I have like little patches here and then on top of my nose, like just a small amount. I know my mom suffers from it, so it might be hereditary. But right now I'm trying to do the best I can to use something to help minimize all that. So my mom had been using this for a while and she told me like my mom's hyperpigmentation is a lot worse than mine and she has been using this product and this is she said that within like two weeks she'll start seeing things clear up I have been using it for about a week now but I think it's really um, starting to make a change because they are starting to get a little bit lighter so I'm using this one the Murad um, this Murad and it's a rapid age spot and pigment lightning serum so I'm using this one here, it's a little bit pricey, but I'm using it only during the nighttime and I'm just applying it all over my face and even coat and then I just moisturize and that's about it for my night time like routine. I do have to get something for my 
eyes because I have noticed that I have not been treating them well. I haven't been actually putting anything on them for ever. Like I don't even do anything in my routine that involves any eye creams. So I have to actually get something like that to you know start, especially once you start aging and stuff and the years start piling on. You really do have to take care of that sensitive area because you don't want extra, like a lot of uh, wrinkles and stuff. So I have to do that. Another thing that I've been using and loving, I'm gonna say is the Morphe palette. This is uh, I have a couple stickers on, or not stickers, but um, tape on here. I need to remove. There you go. And this is the Morphe palette. I have been using it for a very long time. I got it a couple months ago, but this is like the the palette that I use all the time. I have a cup. I have one that I hit pan on. The other one kind of when it arrived it arrived shattered so there's nothing there but it was a really pretty pretty bronzy like rich brown pigment right here or shadow and i have been using this one a lot because it has a lot of like colors with all different tones and i feel like this is something that well for me because i tend to do a lot of neutral uh, makeup looks i feel like this is like my perfect palette another one that i have been using is the lorac gold palette and this one i got on my trip to nini the reason why i got this one because they have some really nice golds i'm attracted to like really gold colors and then rich brown colors so i ended up getting because of these shades here but you know it's i don't like when it doesn't transfer on properly i see this is one here it's hot it's really pigmented here's another one here really nice and then this one unleashed is so creamy the unleashed one is very very creamy very bronzy really nice for the summer so and you're gonna be able to see it you're definitely gonna be able to see it on my skin because I'm so dark see they're right there they're really nice colors and I have been loving these ones this one's a little bit more chalky but um this one unleashed is like very 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 creamy so it gives you a really nice finish another thing that I have been loving that I have that has caused me to neglect let me get them because I have them over here that has caused me to neglect the other items that I do have that I have a ton of that I've been trying to collect and build on has been these liquid lipsticks I have been wearing these for over and over again and just been constantly changing them up usually it's I alternate between these three colors and although the name of the company is already like kind of worn out from here you can there's not actually a name on them anymore these ones are from Colourpop and the ones that I always tend to go to and I alternate these um, it's Midi, Clueless and Beeper these are the three that I usually wear all the time I love their long staying power I love how they they're not completely dry um, and they don't crack because I do have this one here from Anastasia it's like the only one I have but the formulation of this one is nothing compared to the ones from Colourpop Colourpop they last longer um, I'm not saying that these ones don't but they kind of crack and they dry up your lips so much and this one you don't get that as much you do have that drying effect because they are matte but they do last you they don't fit they don't crack on you or nothing like that so i have been using those for a very long time and i'm always like reaching for them and i have unfortunately glassed all my matte lipsticks but today i am actually wearing one of the matte lipsticks because i wanted like oh you know you need some love i need to do giving them some love too another thing that i have been which is also from color pop let me get it out because i love how they are so creamy is it this one here wait no it's this one it's on the rocks i love the color on this one it's just a really nice summer color and you really get like this really creamy shade it's really creamy it's right here and then you just pack it on i usually use my fingers i feel this is the way the best way to get it to transfer onto your eyelid just basically use your finger dab it in there and then like tap it on tap it on and it works just fine like i feel with the brush you're losing a lot of the the color from transferring from the pot to your eyelid like you lose a lot so i rather do it with my fingers when i'm using any of their um, eyeshadows next one up is the mineralized skin finish by mac and give me sun i have been 
using this one forever i use it on the daily i use it all the time i use it to contour just to bronze up my face to warm it up and this is the second one that i get um not only because i do use it on myself but i do do use it on clients as well i don't know for some reason i have been like the contour colors like i have um ones from makeup forever i just kind of like move those to the side i have the nars uh laguna bronzer i kind of push that one to the side and for some reason i feel like the colors there it makes you know when you over you put too much it doesn't give you a nice shade so i have found that this one here it gives me a really nice color and i absolutely love it so i hit pat on the other one i still has a little bit like i still got you know can use it because it's somewhere in here it's just like it has a, just around the rim which is hard to get out but i had to restock on this one because it's like what i wear all the time that i use all my stuff and my plants the other one that i absolutely love two highlighters that i absolutely love you love everything on here yes i did um the I have the mac powder which was a limited edition or a holiday edition um highlighter i ended up getting two so i have a backup one a backup one in case i do run out of this one i have my mac gold darling i have this one here which is a really nice gold color and i have the anastasia so hollywood highlighter too which is somewhere in here but i just can't find it so i got the so hollywood highlighter as well and i absolutely love i haven't really bought any more highlighters i do want to get anastasia's like glow kit just to try them out and see how those are but i have been on a no buying makeup budget um just because i don't want to be like spending so much on like keeping on buying makeup i actually have to make my skit a little my kit a little bit more condensed i carry too much stuff with me some of the things i don't even use i have to just get like the most used items and just pack it into something a little bit smaller because i know i can actually reduce my kit by like half that is pretty much it for this video that is everything that i have with you guys like i said i haven't been buying that much makeup the only things i did do was i like, kind of restock what i already had used I restocked a uh, mineralized skin finish in like medium color and then I got um, Give Me Sun again and I got like a MAC um, for foundation that I have run out of because I happen to be that same color so I use it on myself as well. And that's pretty much it. Everything else is kind of the same. Um, nothing else has pretty much changed. So if you guys like this video, if you think the lighting's good, if something's thrown it off, like let me know if you do it yourself and you kind of figure out what works. Um, let me know because this is the first video I do this way, and I'm actually excited to have like better quality videos. So I hope you are, you guys are too including with the outfit videos those are going to kind of change a little bit there's going to be a background but for some reason the background that i have on it's kind of like it's not long or wide enough and it covers like oh so only a portion so when the camera goes out further um that area that is not covered by the background is visible so i have to find a background that is um very wide for long shoots he's gotta figure it out but i hope you guys enjoyed watching this video i'll see you guys on the next one